We're back! We had a little bit of a longer break than we first anticipated, uh, only because we decided to tear into our bathroom and renovate it uh, during the break, which always takes a little bit longer than you always think when you do things yourself. So we finally got that done and we are ready to start getting back on a regular schedule. And I'm really excited for this month because I got on TikTok recently and there are tons of really good cooks on there, some of them doing vintage foods like me. But I recently stumbled across a guy whose handle is Thundermain328. I will put that in the description box below if you want to look him up. But he goes to Dollar Tree and tries to come up with complete dinners. Now, he had been able to stay within $5 because of course everything's a dollar at the Dollar Tree, except they're now going to be going up to $1.25, which still isn't bad because a lot of the things are a really good deal even at $1.25. Now the reason I thought it would be really fun for me to try this is because he lives in California and he has access to a really big Dollar Tree in a more urban area. But I was thinking, can you do the same thing in a rural Dollar Tree because ours tends to be quite a bit smaller uh, than some of the Dollar Trees that a lot of other people have access to in the country. We went first to Jonesboro, Tennessee, which is in Washington County, one county over from us. It has a population of 133,000. So we got some footage from that. I will go ahead and show you that and then we will come back and I'll show you what we ultimately ended up with. And here is the big reveal. Now, bear with me. I know this doesn't look like much, but we will be dressing this up, I promise, and be making a really good meal out of it. Everything was still just $1 at this Dollar Tree, so I got all of it for $5 plus tax. And this ended up being a really, really fun and awesome Dollar Tree. I got quite a bit of other things there as well, but one of the things I got were these really cute little soaps. They smell good, and I loved the little packaging. I just think those are the cutest thing ever. They were just a dollar, so I decided to get each one and try them out. And I've got everything laid out that I think I'm going to need to make all of this. The tuna cakes are going to be a little bit different because I did not realize that I'm out of breadcrumbs, but you can substitute almond flour. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to just do. Mustard from Aldi, I thought we would try in it and salt and pepper, of course. Then over top of that with our peas, we will make a kind of pea cream gravy to pour over top. Our carrots are going to be cinnamon and brown sugar, which uh, I think is going to be really good. I actually got the recipe off of Libby's, uh, but don't tell Green Giant. <laughs> and then for the rolls, I think I'm going to dress them up with a little bit of butter on top and then we'll toast them with some garlic salt.
these recipes are kind of turning out to be um, <laughs> kind of my best guesstimate as to measurements. I will try my best to put what I did uh, in the description box below. Um, but I'm actually cutting down um, these recipes from what I found on the internet just because I'm not using near as much ingredients as they were wanting me to use. So we're just kind of playing around with it and we're just going to kind of see how this ends up. <laughs> And after you get that smooth and thickened, that's when we're going to add our peas. And we're going to add our salt. And this is actually done, so we're going to let this stay on the stove and stay warm. We're going to flip our tuna cakes, then we will start on our carrots. And now the carrots are going to be the same thing. Just kind of an estimation on my part because the original recipe calls for four cans of carrots. And of course we only have one can. So we're going to be cutting that down quite a bit. Now I just added the cinnamon. We're going to add some salt. We're going to let this cook down a little bit till it's nice and bubbly. And then we're going to add our carrots. Alright, finally ready yeah. for our first Dollar Tree meal. Um, I don't think it looks bad. No, it looks way better than it deserves to from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is actually, actually a decent meal. Yeah. Uh, now, I served the tuna cakes with the pea cream sauce because that's just what we've always done in my family. So my grandmother made it that way, my mom made it that way, and my grandmother actually got the recipe from the hospital she used to work at. Oh, wow. They were renowned in that area for their food. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, I'm only sounding surprised because I've never done it with almond flour before. It's always been, you know, breadcrumbs or crackers, mm -hmm. but I really like the almond flour in it. I also really like that Aldi sweet mustard. Yeah. Now, of course, you could use Dijon or yeah. regular mustard if you want to. I just happened to have it on hand, and I kind of wanted to try it. <laughs> it definitely adds some, like, depth to the flavor. Yeah. I mean, the tuna's really good, too. Yeah. Like, everything just kind of works with yeah. it. Now, we'll try our little breads. Very good. Yeah, that's surprising too, mm -hmm. actually. Now the roll has a little bit of a sweet taste to it, but I think adding a little bit of butter and the garlic salt, because I put the garlic yeah. salt on top, I think that really punched it up good. I like these. I would definitely buy them again. They're cute, and I think the size is really nice too. Yeah. So it's just enough of a little roll for your dinner plate. Yeah. Now for carrots, which... I mean, I you know, sugar, <laughs> it's got to be good, right? <laughs> and I like the addition of the cinnamon, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that it was really like good. mellows mm -hmm. it. Like, it's not, it's sweet. Right. But it's not, like, so sweet that you feel like you right. just eat a cake or something. Yeah, you know? Libby's did good on that one. Yeah. I like that one. Now, as for 
Okay, overall, I would rate this dinner an absolute win. Yeah. Right? So you can go to Dollar Tree, get some canned goods, and come out with a really good dinner. I think where this really would shine, if you're going camping, and you know, like the kind of camping where you're not really going hiking, you know what I mean? Like you're not gonna put cans in your backpack, right? To like go on a big trail. But if you're just like kind of relax camping, yeah, and you're gonna be building a fire later and you're gonna be making a dinner, you know, throwing some canned goods into your car from the Dollar Tree isn't a bad way to go. Yeah. You know, you can yeah. kind of, and this threw together fast yeah. too, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, I was really huffing back here. <laughs> <laughs> it all came together a little faster than anticipated. It all yeah. got done at the same time. So you're just like, ah, trying to get everything off the fire. Yeah. So that would be really good for yeah. camping. I think also where the Dollar Tree just absolutely shines is if you're going to like stay at a cabin for a weekend or something like that. You know, we live pretty close to Gatlinburg Pigeon, Por yeah. Pigeon Forge. And sometimes when all the tourists go home, you know, us locals kind of come in and we get a cabin <laughs> and, you know, we relax a little bit for a weekend. And this would be great. Yeah. You yeah. know? Easy to put together, quick. Exactly. Cheap. Uh, yeah, I'm actually really surprised. Jonesboro, you got a great Dollar Tree. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to peruse and see what was there. We got tons of stuff. Um, mostly, you know, for the show, but also for my grandmother who loves their puzzles. And if you've got someone that's got arthritis in their fingers, their puzzles are great because it's big pieces, but it still, you know, has dexterity to it. Yeah. Um, so that's really great. Now for next week, uh, we'll be going to a less populated Dollar Tree. Um, it's going to be smaller than Jonesboro. Mm. So we're going to see if we can't come up with something just as good. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm going to go in blind, not knowing what I'm going to pick out. And I'm just going to grab whatever's there. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching this episode. Hope you liked it. Hope you give your local Dollar Tree a try if you have one to see what you can come out of there for just a dollar and a dinner. So we'll see you next time. Bye. And if you like historical cooking and unusual cookbooks, here's two more videos you might enjoy. And make sure to like and subscribe for more foodie adventures.